Hey guys, it's Sean from Sean's DIY and Reviews, and today I'm gonna to mess around a little bit with this uh, this drone again here, the JJRC. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the follow me mode. Uh, I got this little lanyard now, and so I can put my my phone and the controller right here on the lanyard, which is nice, kind of hang it off there. And if you need it, great. If you don't, put it aside. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my battery in here. What I wanna test is the um, follow me mode. And what happened was I tried that out a, uh, a little while ago with my Note 9, which I'm recording right now with. And unfortunately, Android 10, it seems like doesn't work with the app um, with, with doing those features. So if you have Android 10 on your phone, you can actually use the phone to um, you know, connect to the device, but it doesn't really seem to work as far as the follow me and so on. It tells you it doesn't work. So I have here this uh, this little Motorola that I had laying around and I'm gonna hook this up and see if I get it to follow me. So I'll show you quickly how you connect here. You click on the little app right there and then you do the go. You can skip past this guy. It's just demonstrating what it does. Clearly now it is connected. So you're seeing the view that I'm seeing. I have it sitting on top of a garbage can at the moment. So that's why uh, you see that. And there you go, there's a view of my neighborhood right here. There's a view of me, you're seeing. And under here, you're gonna see the, I guess if you were over there, you'd see a view of me. It seems a little laggy though, to be honest with you, when you're first going and tell me not connected, so. So you basically spin it around twice and then when you look at the bottom, you'll see all the lights go to green. And then what you'll do is then spin it around. And I only have one hand because I'm holding this uh, right here. You're gonna spin it around like this. And I find it easier when I hold right there. There it is. So you got red on the front and then yellowish on the back. And we're gonna launch this guy. So there it is, right here. We're connected to the aircraft. Click the unlock button right here on our remote. See the little thing is going there. One button, take off. Let it hover a little bit. I have eight satellites, it says here. You want to get nine, but I have eight. So once you have nine satellites, it'll sit pretty nice. When you have at least nine satellites, maybe even 10 to 13, uh, you can see how it sits real nice in the air. Slightly any wind here, but look, I'm not doing anything and it's just sitting there perfectly. There it is. I'm gonna try to follow me once again. And I'm gonna click start, follow me. I'm going this way. Let's see if it's following me. Yeah, it's coming toward me. Let me see if I run a little bit. I'm gonna record on this and you'll be able to see. As I'm moving toward it, it's moving back. And I'm gonna run real quick. See what happens. Now I gave the phone to my son. I got this in my hand. There goes the drone following him. Okay, come on back. You definitely want to make sure that you have this thing up high enough because you do not want it to crash into something as it's following you. Here it is coming back, following him down the street. You wanna make sure that it can clear trees, houses, whatever it might be. And now I'm gonna try orbit mode. So here we'll just click on orbit and point of interest. So I'm gonna hit start orbit. And I'll move the Hammer down a little bit. I 
and you can see that it's orbiting around me. That's me down there. And it definitely, those things definitely work. Yeah.